Hello YouTube, today I'm here with a new tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show how to mount EFI partition on Windows. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates. As I was receiving lots of requests regarding mounting the EFI partition, so here I am. So guys, let's start. As you can see, currently I'm running Windows 7, but don't worry, this method will work on all Windows version, including Windows 10. This method is useful for those users who don't have access to a Macintosh or a Hackintosh computer. So if you plan to install macOS on a custom built PC or laptop, then you might need to access the EFI partition and make changes. If you are already having a Macintosh or a Hackintosh computer, this process becomes quite easy. But doing the same on a Windows PC, this becomes usually hard. Earlier it was quite easy to access the EFI partition on Windows, but as Microsoft released a new update, the users were not able to access the EFI partition. To mount the EFI partition, you will need an internet connection to download the required files such as Minitool Partition Wizard and Explorer++. Don't worry, all the download links are provided under video in the description. So the very first step is to install Minitool Partition Wizard. So open it, click on yes, click on ok. Select I accept the agreement and click on next, click on next click on next click on next and click on install now uncheck this box and click on finish now plug your mac os bootable usb and open computer as you can see there is no efi partition mounted over here to verify it you need to open the disk management so go to manage and select disk management As you can see here is the disk 5 which is the Mac OS bootable USB and here is the 200 MB healthy EFI system partition. So this is the EFI partition of the Mac OS bootable USB and this is the healthy primary partition which is the OS X based system and this one is the unallocated partition. So close disk management. Now open mini tool partition wizard, click on yes, select launch application. Now select your disk. So here is the disk 6 HP V232W USB removal GPT 14.94 GB. So here is the EFI partition of 200 MB. Right click on EFI and select hide partition. Now again right click on EFI and select unhide partition. Now under the new drive letters you can select it anyone but as always I will be selecting Z. Now click on OK. Now click on apply, now click on yes. Now as you can see applied all the pending changes successfully. So click on ok. Now close the mini tool partition wizard. Now right click on explorer plus plus and select run as administrator. Make sure that you run explorer plus plus as administrator otherwise you won't be able to access the EFI partition. So select run as administrator click on yes now right click on explorer plus plus and select run as administrator make sure that you run explorer plus plus as administrator otherwise you won't be able to access the efi partition so select run as administrator click on yes now as you can see here is the efi partition mounted here and the drive letter has been assigned to z which we assigned it earlier using the mini tool partition wizard so Open the EFI partition and here is the EFI folder and the clover folder and here is the configure.plist file. So this is the default configure.plist file generated by the installer. So for most of the time when installing macOS on your PC or lap, you need to replace the default configure.plist file and replace with a patched one. Right click on configure.plist file and click on delete, click on yes. Now as you can see here is the configure.plist file, now click on copy, right click here and click on paste and as you can see the configure.plist file has been placed over here. 
so guys now you can easily mount efi partition on windows and can replace the configure.plist file over here not only you can replace the configure.plist file but you can place the patch gsdt and also if you need to add the text you can add your text here and if you need to add drivers you can also add the drivers here so guys now you can easily mount the efi partition on windows i hope you like this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more updates stay connected have a great day